I'm Manil Kumar. In this video, we will find minimum length of a ladder using derivative of trigonometric functions. The question here is, a fireman has to reach a burning building. Determine the length of the shortest ladder that will reach over a 2 meter fence to the burning building which is 1 meter behind the fence. So let us say that we have that's the ground and here is a building and what we have here is there's a fence and we have to reach let's say this top with a ladder and the fence is given to us which is height is 2 meters and it is 1 meter in front of the building so that is how the situation is so in a way we can see it like this let us say that is the fence whose height is 2 meters and it is 1 meter ahead of the building so this portion will also be 1 meter right we need to find the length L of the ladder that is the question now how to find it it is interesting to note that the angle here will be same as the angle at that place right so both are with the horizontal for the leaning ladder now we can use trigonometric functions to find the length so what we can do is we can say length is combination of uh, this length which is l1 and l2 right so these two lengths combined together will give us the total length of the ladder now how to find l1 and l2 now if you see that small triangle here in this triangle we are given a positive sign which is 2 and therefore L1 is 2 over sine theta right so we could write this as equals to 2 over sine theta plus in the other triangle we have base as 1 the adjacent side and therefore L2 is 1 over cosine theta so that is how we can get the relation of the length of the ladder in terms of angle theta. And as far as this angle theta is concerned, its boundary conditions can be written as it could be from 0 to 90 degrees, right? So it could be from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Well, if theta is 0 degrees, if I put 0 here, it will become undefined, right? even for 90 that other term is undefined so basically what we get is that length for both these boundary conditions is very very large right so anywhere in between it is going to be the minimum length so that is kind of important to understand right now once we know that this is the function we can find the derivative of this function with respect to theta so we have dl d theta as equals to derivative of this function we can apply the quotient rule, right? As you know, what is the derivative of sine theta? Derivative of sine theta is d d theta of sine theta is cosine theta, right? And the derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta. So we are going to use this derivative to find the derivative of the function, which in our case is 2 sine theta plus 1 cos theta. So applying the quotient rule, for the first term, we get denominator as sine square theta. And here, derivative of 2 is 0, so 0 minus 2 times derivative of sine theta, which is cosine theta. So we get 2 cos theta, right? So that becomes the derivative of the first term. For the next term, we'll get cos square theta in the denominator. Derivative of 1 is 0, so 0 minus. Uh, derivative of cosine theta which is minus sine theta right so that minus sine theta will make that positive right so this is what we get now for optimization dl d theta should be zeros right so we'll now find the critical number and we say for critical number dl d theta should be equal to zero so equating this to zero and then solving for theta we can actually get the solution so we get 0 equals to minus 2 cos theta over sine square theta minus and minus becomes plus sine theta over cos square theta right so that is what we get now we can take common denominator so once we take common denominator 
we get sine square theta cos square theta and here we'll get 2 minus cos cube theta right multiplying cross multiplying plus sine cube theta all that should be equal to 0 now for this to be 0 numerator should be 0 right so numerator will be 0 that means I can write sine cube theta is equals to 2 cos cube theta right so we can take this on the left side so we get sine cube theta equals to 2 cos cube theta now dividing by cos cube theta we get sine cube theta divided by cos cube theta equals to 2 and this is tan correct so so now we can write this as we'll do it on the right side so this basically gives us tan cube theta equals to 2 or we can say angle theta 2 cube root right so tan theta will be cube root of 2 right so that is what we get now from here we can find the angle theta so we get theta equals to so let me use this side now so theta equals to tan inverse of cube root of 2 right so that that is the answer so let's find cube root of t you can find this answer in degrees or in radians right now let us find it in degrees in this particular case right so it is shift tan inverse within this we have cube root so we have cube root here cube root of 2 right bracket close equals to so that gives us 51.56 so theta is 51.56 for us so so that is how we can find the critical number as you know for 0 l is going to be infinite for 90 l is going to be infinitely long and therefore that should give us the minimum value right so the question is determine the length of the shortest scanner so let's find the length now for this particular angle so l equals to 2 over sine 51.56 plus 1 over cos 51.56 right so we'll use calculator to find this answer so we have 2 divided by sine of 51.56 equals to plus 1 divided by cos of 51.56 right equals to so that gives us as 4.16 and the units are in meters right so 4.16 meters is basically the answer for this particular question right so therefore shortest ladder equals to 4.16 meters right so I hope that is absolutely clear thank you and all the best